All right, we're actually not in my shop. We're over at Joe's house today. We're gonna go take to the time trial pond over at our property. We're gonna see if Kyle's white and blue renegade can hold up with Aquagate. No, we're gonna see, since we have the same bikes, if Joe's not as good of a rider as he thinks he is, and if I'm just gonna no, no, no. wax no, 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 the floor. No, no, no. Aquagate is Aquagate a was a beast. copy no, of whoa, my whoa, build. Oh, let's go outside for a second. So Joe might have had the 2023 first. I had it for first. For three weeks. Hold on, come on, Luke. Give me the thing. It's making the screen all white. Give me the thing. We gotta put the sunglasses on the people. We gotta put the sunglasses. Here, ready? Watch this, ready? Oh, you can. Boom. All right. All, all right. right, so wait a minute. Let me, let me so. just say something really fast for the Kyle Cullen channel. If all you had to do was powder coat, bead locks, bumpers, and rear rack, to be a full build. We'd have 15 builds around this place, you You're know what right. I mean? If I knew all I had to do was powder coat my underwear and I could call myself a build <laughs> shop. Wait, wait, look at this right here. The plastic mounts are powder coated white. They're usually Dude, black. You, do you even clean this thing? This thing looks like a 2007 Can-Am 800 that's been sitting in Florida getting eaten by the salt its whole entire life. Hold on, calls it a build, can't even change out the winch cable. Look at all the work done to it. Powder coat A on That's all shots. you did. What kind of clutches you got in your bike? Dirty. Ones that aren't dirty. I can't, well, I can't even see what these yeah, are you don't have to see them just wait till it performs today you okay we'll see we'll see we'll see, we'll see. on kill power sports here's your shout out we're gonna eat that white and blue and alive anyway for real we're gonna go over to his property and rip these things in his bounty hole that he calls a little mud puddle we might even we got, take off a pit bike so that's more kyle speed i mean i, I was still I'm trying to go learn some new trails so, joe's telling me that he's got all these like urban trails kind of like the cody trails i'm pretty excited i've known about them for a while i just haven't had the end to take anything to go ride them because joe hates me let's get these pit bikes loaded up it's going on three o'clock now oh, i've been ready to ride Time since out, 11 o'clock this morning. I text Kyle. I'll pull the messages da, 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 da. Pull the mess I said, y'all ain't leaving at 10. He sends a picture of Luke in the bed still asleep, guys. <laughs> so no, he got here late. It's Kyle's fault. He's not on time. But every other time, usually it's Joe's fault. So uh, I'll take the blame this time. Anyway, enough blabbing. Let's get in the truck. Short little run across the street. I think we're uh, joking ourselves, Joe. I think Luke's really gonna just dominate on the pit bike here. See, yeah, Luke's gonna take this deep as crap. Uh, you know we can we can snorkel this, right? It, I was literally check. just thinking that. Four thousand likes on the video, and we'll snorkel pit bike. Nah, I do five thousand five thousand likes. All okay. right, five thousand. Luke's having faith in you guys for five thousand. But after we're done showing Joe how to actually ride, Joe told me he's gonna take us on some trails. Which yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the pit bikes on trails, but where we're going is a little kind of secret we're not trying to get chased by the cops anyway let me quit jabbing let me throw a gopro on and we'll pick you guys up in a second so check this out all right so this is how we're I'm gonna run it. it out it's disgusting it's all nothing but cow piss and cow you know s-h-i-t see look my example my perfectly right here is he a bounty hole rider that is a bounty hole racer right there yep there we go go <laughs> <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, baby. Slow oh, and steady. Third timer. No reverse. You cannot use reverse in this one. Is that a rule? No. Well, tell me the rules right now. Okay, so here's your rules. We're going to start at the very far end down there, way down at the end. We're going to come right. across the middle. you got to make a hair turn right here, and the timer right. will start. Time, 18 seconds. <laughs> Once you start, the time clock will start. As soon as you hit the gas, it starts, and as soon as your all four tires get on dry land over there, that's when your time will stop. All right. Guys, how about this? I am going to take my test ride. I'm going to run this test run, and if you want to see the race, you're going to have to go check out Joe's channel because I don't even want to bore you with this race. I'm talking a lot of game. I hope I don't screw up. So I'm going to throw in some clips of the race. I'm not going to throw the full race. Like I said, if you guys want to see that video, check it out on Joe's channel. I think we're going to be all right on this race. And a cow already crossed this thing. This is a nasty hole. Nasty way to start the day. I think if a cow can cross it, I think the pit bike can imagine. <laughs> and like I said before, 5,000 likes on this video. I think we snorkel the pit bike. Oh, we're probably going to be doing a build series on that soon. If you guys checked out the last video, you saw that we bought it, which is what we're going to do later on today. Because you don't know the trails and like you don't want to get caught. The pit bikes, you can just sneak all around. So and second half of this video, we're going to go check out some new trails. All right, like I said, hop over to Joe's channel, check out this video. We'll throw a little bit of clips in, but let's get this race started. Yeah. Last time I checked, I'm still high, real high. Keep the dope without a pill pop, pill cut. Steady climbing to the hilltop, tip top. Did it all off of a TikTok. Yeah, last time I checked, I still that guy that did it on my own. Stay independent for you to get what I'm getting. It will probably take a village on. Uh. Just give me a minute, turn a snippet to a hit, and now they all want a percentage, but I'm only paying visits on. Uh. Big dog, hit him with thick thumbs and a quick draw. Hit bars, if they ain't playing, they getting kicked off. Jigsaw, I got them puzzle, got them a bit lost. It's a feeding frenzy, I put the beat in a pig trough. Mm, got it on lock, got the password. Type of thing you couldn't manufacture. Can't see the patterns. 
Last time I checked, I'm still hot, real hot. Kept it dope without a pill pop. Bill Cobb, steady climbing to the hilltop. Tip top, did it all off of a tip top. Yeah, last time I checked, I still hot, real hot. Kept it dope without a pill pop. Bill Cobb, steady climbing to the hilltop. Tip top, did it all off of a toe. Grand, send me a beat and make it bouncy. When they hear the tag, they know it's about to be. No, that was a good one. I thought you you sat there and balanced for at least it felt like three seconds. You were like, I was just hanging out. And you looked up at us and it was like, whoa! <laughs> Let me see that video. I don't even know what I would have done, to be honest. Yeah, well, how? Because you, you can't jump over the handlebars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. I mean, you can, but you can't. I would have sunk it. When you're doing a regular wheelie, you land on your. If you go too far, you land on your rack and you just right. chill there and you can push the bike over. You land on your snorkel. That's it. <laughs> Hell, broski. Buy some quality products and your shit won't break. Oh, guys, we are here. We are here to rip pit bikes where we come before with the Jeep and the pit bikes before at the same time. Now, I'm just going to throw the GoPro on, get a few clips here and there because mainly Kyle wanted to come do this. I just want to show him up with Renix. See the sky behind me, dude? We're going to yeah. be riding yeah, the hurricane, yeah, brother. They're filming for YouTube, guys. Rough, we might get rain on, but I'm going to throw the GoPro on. He's filming on, for YouTube. On the so, enjoy, guys. Oh, he did the thing. He did the thing where he covered the camera. Uh. Alright, let's see how long it takes till I fall. Fall or eat What's shit. Happen? What's gonna happen first? Are we gonna get rained on first or are you gonna fall? Dude, I can't even do wheelies. I can't even ride. It's like the fourth time I've rode a pit bike. Hey. I'm stuck. Yeah, you're already stuck. We should have just brought the renegades back here. I don't even know why we just didn't bring both renegades up today. Two miles per hour. All the people who ride dirt bikes every day are like, wow, dude. You are a baby. And to you guys, I have to say, yes, you are right. I do suck, and I am a baby at riding. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Yo, pit bikes versus highway traffic. Let's get it. I have a feeling this ride is going to get cut short because it's already starting to drizzle. I am just keeping my distance because in case one of them fall, I am not good at moving around. Yo, I ain't even going to lie. All the riding in the backyard's paying off right now. You got to think, guys. Luke doesn't really have any dirt bike experience. Like, and all of Luke's dirt bike experience is a pit bike. What I'm getting at is, if we look like a couple of goons on these pit bikes, it's because we are a couple of goons on these pit bikes. Guaranteed though, if there was a police or somebody chasing us right now, dude, I would actually turn into a professional dirt bike rider. Put me on a full-size dirt bike? Yeah, I'll rent, especially trails. That's what I grew up riding. These pit bikes? Nah, nah, I'm good. It's like Miller. Me and Miller are complete opposites. He will get me on a pit bike. Put him on a big bike though, he's struggling. Luke, he's struggling on both. Hey, where is he at? All right, we already lost him. Dude, I just feel like I'm on the Sunday Cruiser right now. They're probably all mad because I'm going so slow. Whoa, Mr. Wheelie Boy. I can actually pull up a wheelie for like a second and then that's it. Yep, that's it. Look at Luke, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Luke to fall. <laughs> Ow, I hit my shin on the fucking peg. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Do you need some help? I mean, I'm not trying to dog your bike by dropping it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if you wouldn't, but you know. <laughs> Probably would have helped if I wasn't in second gear when I tried that. If you hit it first gear, you've got that right in the middle, but you got to nail it. You're going to rip your shin open. Oh, well, we got all the freaking big size riders today. Looking at us like, look at these clown ass dudes on a pit bike. Hey, Cal. What? Uh, yeah. Got, this right here is a sketchy part. Oh, good. I like sketchy parts. <laughs> Joe did us dirty on that one. At least I didn't get hurt. And he didn't fall into traffic either. Joe like locked up on the brakes. So I didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, no, you were sideways the whole entire time. This is like a good spot for a full-size dirt bike. But like these pit bikes, no, and the Renegade's probably not that fun. Maybe a sports four-wheeler. Oh! <laughs> I about hit that drainage thing. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, yep. Dude, I about just caught him eating it. Dude, I cannot imagine being on a bigger bike than this right now. Uh, it's way easier on a bigger bike because you can go over a lot more. These bikes you get tossed around on. All right, Joe with the wheelies. All right. Pit bikes aren't really my thing. I'm too big for them. I don't like falling. But they are super fun for exploring. Here, get that bike through. You want to grab that, put that bike through? Oh, is it literally just leaning? Yeah, it's just leaning. Is he? 
He's standing out there like he is. He's got his phone out. He's definitely calling the cops. This will be fun on a Jeep. Yeah, if I'm gonna eat it, it's right now. We're gonna have to baby this down. I'm, I'm too shitty of a rider. Yeah, we got it. Ooh, saved it. Oh, I was not expecting that. Honestly, if you go faster, it's easier. Yeah. This place reminds me of Lake Hauser. Dude, it is about to storm. Should we scoot back to the truck before it storms? All right. Just ride your back brakes and then just play on your front brakes, leave it in first gear. You see what I mean? Nah, we are walking this bitch down. Luke, you're better off right sitting on it so you can hit the brakes. That's all right. I got this going. Okay. I mean, you did better than I expected. Just let it go right into the hole. Into the hole. I mean, for not being a very experienced rider, Luke's doing all right. Good job, Luke. Holy shit. Tired? That's the hardest I've ever had to work on a motor vehicle. <laughs> Have you ever been to Brushy Mountain? Yeah, but once. It's kind of like this. It's it's definitely harder. And Luke is like on the hardest trail of Brushy Mountain in his head. And we're just over here like moseying around. Luke's like... <gasps> Luke's praying it'll rain so he can drink the raindrops. When we get to that road up there, look both ways before you cross that gate to make sure there's not a cop sitting down on that road. So we're going to have to go out the same we came in. So be looking if there is... We're coming back in. We're coming back in. We're gonna go. We're gonna. I'll call Kalen to come get. Well, I'll call like, Jay to come get my truck and come pick us up over on the Cunningham Road. That could have been the kid. A kid though. That kid. I think he knows who I am. And he's like waved at me a lot. It looked like a kid. But if that was an adult, then we definitely got the law called on us. I think that was an adult. He had the. He had his phone sitting there like this. So I don't know if he was on speaker. So. I'm gonna tell him my channel is Braden Price. That's Garrett. And there's Christian Lee. We're all good. First gear, baby. Let her eat. All right. I'm praying, guys. Pray for me. Holy shit. Come on, Luke. I believe in you, boy. Ride it out, ride it out. Come on. <laughs> that way. Oh my hell yeah. Let's go. I'll take it. I'm not even exaggerating when I say Luke is a beginner rider. This is not the spot we should have brought him. Last year, one year ago, I literally just sent Micah the Snapchat from a year ago. We went to Sea Boys. Like the night we got there, we were hanging out with Micah and Evan, and Evan was all riled up. He's like, well, I'm not ready for bed. So we hopped on the pit bikes to go check out the track because we had never been to their compound before. Luke was like, oh, I'll go. And I kind of knew Luke wasn't a good rider, but he insisted on going and I wasn't going to tell him no. So he jumps on his freaking pit bull, well, one of their pit bikes. We make it like half a lap around their new track. He's not even doing anything. He literally just washes out in the corner and cut the absolute crap out of his shin like from here to here on the foot peg Pretty solid. you can see the different teeth of the foot peg in there <laughs> <laughs> we literally like super glued it together i don't remember what we had to glue we went to the cormorant store and got glue and just glued it together from that day on i was like yep you're done riding pit bikes and he's definitely got a lot better riding around the backyard because i would not expect him to survive these trails at all oh there's a man sitting there all right guess we're going this way there's a guy in his truck sitting there Literally blocking it with his truck. We, well, we can still move that one gate and get out. No, he's quite literally in front of the gate. He's in, is he in the truck? No, he's out of the truck with his phone out. Video. I'll see if I can get out over here. If I can get out over there. Oh, let me just talk to him. What's going on, man? All right. This is actually my first time. Some kid told, we were back in the woods over there. He's like, yeah, you can go up on the power lines and go right all back in there. I mean, there ain't nobody to ask out here. We pulled up and rode around. Okay, sir, I did not know that. I figured it was, because I saw the Duke sign right there. That's the sign I did see. You figure, I mean, at least on the Duke Energy stuff, you know, what are they going to say? But I, I will be honest, I did not know it was a private property. I don't do good with negotiating. Dude, he is, he is amazing at negotiating. He can talk himself out of anything, I, I swear. Get I get mad, and I just say, let me the hell out of this <laughs> gate, or I'm going to jump my pit like, like evil Knievel over your truck. You ever seen Bubba Scrub, like James Story just whips yeah. <laughs> over top of his truck? You said there's a gate over on that side? I'll be honest, I don't know these trails. I don't know where the hell I'm at. And the one sign I did see right there, I saw a Duke Energy sign. I understand. For I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think a little bike like this is really tearing too much up. I understand that now. Like I said, I was in the wrong. Oh, I'm gonna have to subtitle all this. Ain't this ain't this right here? Ain't this called um detainment? We're not being detained, are we? I don't know. He's got us in a cage like a zoo. You can only stand at the fence. You can feed us. You can throw food to us, but that's it. <laughs> can we call it water under the bridge and we'll get out of here? All right. We appreciate that. Yeah. No. Uh, and if I if I knew this was probably done, the first thing I would have done would first mistake you took the helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the pit bike. Here, I'll hold your pit bike. I mean, it's not fair for you to have to pay for stuff to block off your own. All right, you ready? We'll leave Kyle here. We don't need him to survive. Grab my hand. 
Do you feel that? Yes. We can make this happen. Okay. <laughs> Kyle's talking him up so much that like that he's about to like massage his feet or something. Oh shit! Please. Uh huh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, why am I? <sighs> Dude, you made my heart rate cough. Thank you, sir. Sorry about that. You were a fucking manipulator. Oh, I know. I know. If you guys need him to negotiate anything, if you need a lawyer, somebody to negotiate a bank loan, it's your guy right here. We're gonna come back, me, you, and all of us with our loud ass renegades. Just rip. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my camper, the 50 footer. Oh, I thought this was Old Man Riding Park. That's the first time my whole life somebody has ever stopped us from riding there. Swear to God. That's all I was like, I mean, Fuck it, I'll talk to him. Worst he does is he already called the cops. We're already running anyway. The good thing is most of the time everybody does run. So if you sit there and talk to them, they're like, holy shit, you're going to talk to me? You know, that just blows their mind. They're like, wait, what? And then you reason with them. And then they're like, all right. And then at the end of it, you're like, all right, do you mind if I just go through here or what? And he's like, all right, come on. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. Come on, let's see some birdhouse. Come on, for the video, let's go. That's the game, baby. I ain't trying to get rid. Okay, goodbye. You gonna do it? All right, I guess everyone's gonna know you can't do a burnout. Oh my God, buddy couldn't do a burnout on the road. Come on, dude, it is raining. It is coming down. It literally says severe thunderstorms. Okay, let's get back to the truck. <laughs> Saved it, Luke. Falls at the end. You know what's sad? He didn't even do the burnout. I stayed there trying to tell him to do a burnout. He's like, I'll do it in the dirt. I was like, I can go home in my Crown Vic and do that. Oh, it's wet! These raindrops hurt. We made it. We survived. Well, that was just f great. Best I did yet, boys. Best I did yet. How much money in body armor? It keeps going. It's all in How many bottles do you think are in here? We gotta do they a... go under the toolbox. How is body armor not sponsoring him yet? What the hell?